Headlights come in all different colors. Some are more white, some are more blue. And if you're confused about why we use terms like 5000K, color temperature, Kelvin rating, or warm white and cool white, you're not alone. In this video, I'm gonna once and for all explain why we use a 170 year old temperature measurement scale to describe the color of your headlights. My name's Chris with Headlight Revolution. In 1848, a scientist named William Thompson wrote a research paper on the theory of an absolute zero temperature scale. This theory later on was developed, refined, and proven to be true, and is used today by scientists all over the world. William Thompson was only 24 years old when he invented this new temperature scale. What'd you do with your life by the time you were 24 years old? <coughs> Didn't think so. 44 years later in his life, he was knighted by Queen Victoria and ennobled by his country. At this time, he was given the title Lord Kelvin due to a river named Kelvin that ran along near his laboratory. This guy invented a new scale of temperature and they named him after the river. To put the Kelvin temperature scale into perspective, a cutting torch in a shop can reach temperatures of 5,600 degrees Fahrenheit to cut steel. In terms of converting that to Kelvin, that gives a temperature of around 3000 K. So 3000 K, as you'll see on our wall here, is more of a yellow color. And with that cutting torch, as you are cutting steel, you're gonna see a very similar yellow color. All right, so here's where it gets really confusing. Do all headlight colors create the same amount of light? We test usable light from headlights all the time with a digital lux meter. We find that as a general rule of thumb, colors in the middle of the spectrum, closest to the color of the sun, produce the most lux. That's the most visible or usable light. Anything higher than 5000 K is less bright. Anything lower is less bright, which sucks if you want a little yellow or blue in your light. On the Kelvin scale, 3000K, 5000K, 8000K, and 12000K doesn't refer to brightness at all. It refers to color on the visible light spectrum. Visible waves, the waves which man calls light. The higher up on the Kelvin scale you go, you actually lose brightness. You trade visible light for color. Many times people say, why aren't my 10000K HID headlights very bright? I hope by the end of this video, the answer is pretty obvious. Human eyes have developed over time to see the best under natural sunlight. The retina is seen to consist of this complicated arrangement of rods and cones, which convert light waves into nerve impulses in some manner which even science of today cannot fully explain. So it makes sense that our eyes see light best at the same color of the sun, which is 5800K. Because we're so used to that color and intensity of light, it seems brighter than other colors. All visible light is a very small part of a larger electromagnetic spectrum. This visible light is emitted in a spectrum of decreasing and increasing wavelengths, which humans see as color from red to violet. The reason why a 10,000K deep blue color headlight isn't very bright is because it's becoming more invisible as the wavelengths move closer to the ultraviolet, invisible light area of the spectrum. The same is true for more yellow light as the wavelengths increase and get closer to infrared, invisible light. Our eyes just can't perceive wavelengths above and below the visible light spectrum. That's why if you have a deep blue 10,000K HID headlight, everything looks blue and dim. It's hard to drive with because its color is closer to the invisible ultraviolet light. A 5000K white headlight has two times the brightness as a blue 10,000K headlight. This is because white light is closest to the center of the visible light spectrum, farther away from infrared and ultraviolet. So why do we describe color with a temperature rating like the Kelvin scale anyway? The color of the sun is nearly 5800 Kelvin. This also means that the surface of the sun is actually 5800 Kelvin hot. 
We can use scientific devices to measure the color the sun happens to be and reproduce it in a number of representative ways. Then we can engineer HID and LED bulbs to mimic that color. So no, your 6000K LED headlight bulbs do not produce 6000K of heat. They produce probably 200 degrees of heat and mimic the color created by something on the Kelvin scale. Corey, what are you doing? Huh? I'm trying to heat that bulb up to 3000 Kelvin. You're gonna need something more than just an oven. If HID and LED bulbs don't get that hot, how do you make the different colors then? With HID headlights, there's a protective outer glass tube with a quartz glass capsule inside of it. Inside this capsule, there are chemicals like different types of metal salts, mercury, sodium, xenon gas, and a pair of tungsten electrodes. The ballast sends high voltage electricity to each electrode, which produces a blazing arc that produces light. The material used to create the metal electrodes themselves that carry the electricity, the makeup of the metal salts and concentration of other chemicals inside the capsule are what create the different colors with HID. Kind of like how when you throw copper on a fire, it glows blue. If you throw borax on a fire, it turns green. The engineers can manipulate the HID bulb color to make any color they want just by switching up the chemical composition inside the bulb. Here's the bottom line. Colors closest to the middle of the spectrum will give you the most usable light output, like 4000K and 5000K. But if you want a little blue or yellow, it's okay to stray away from that to achieve your desired color for style. 10 years ago, the industry favorite was 8000K iceberg blue and 10,000K deep blue. Five years ago, most people requested 6000K diamond white. For whatever reason, today we sell more 5000K in HID bulb colors and 6000K in LED bulb colors. As long as you don't think you're gonna be the brightest guy on the road with 12,000K purple HID bulbs, you'll be fine. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you wanna see more about automotive lighting education, product reviews, and tests, please subscribe.